Peace. This is Bomani UFG hitting y'all with another quick jab off the parry. First, I need you to jab that like button, uppercut that subscribe button, lead hook that share button, and drop the comment in the comment section. And throw a combination at the notification bell so you can stay updated when we drop new content. His Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh before staging the first Riyadh season card in the U.S. Crawford vs. Majumov, he seemed determined to put up some big money for a Canelo vs. Crawford showdown. Now after seeing the Crawford performance against Majumov at 154, he seemed to have pivoted. It doesn't seem interesting to Canelo vs. Crawford anymore. Turkey recently tweeted, Just wrapped up an important meeting now with my team. Planning for the upcoming fights that we will make for 24, 25. I decided to disregard the Canelo fight as I don't want it anymore. Instead, I will be focusing for the U.S. market with bigger fights, especially for the legend Crawford. Additionally, I will support making fights for Boots, Haney, Shakur, Ortiz, Anderson, Benavidez, Cepeda, and more. Regarding Tim Zhu, there's something unclear with the communications from his team with our team, so I believe I will reconsider his situation. And for the rest of the world, definitely, I am focused on Riyadh season card, Wembley edition, 21st of September, AJ vs. Dubois. And depending on the results, and the result of the Riyadh season's opening card, Bival vs. Betterbiev, on the 12th of October, I will build the card for the rematch vs. Fury vs. Usyk on the 21st of December, and another big card on the first quarter of 2025. Stay tuned. Turkey has proclaimed Crawford to be his favorite fighter. But it seems to be more focused on putting together great matchups that can produce great fights, more so than hyped up bouts. To most observers, Crawford won the fight, but some believe he didn't bring his power with him into the new division, making people more skeptical of a Canelo fight, given the size difference. I must admit, I'm one who believes Crawford to be more skilled than Canelo, but after watching his performance against Majumov at 154, I do feel that 168 might be too much of a jump in weight for Crawford at this time. I didn't think Crawford looked bad against Majumov. I think Majumov just might be better than we expected. But if that was Canelo in the ring that night, I don't know how that fight would have played out at 168. Maybe Crawford should take his time moving up rather than just directly jumping up to 168. What do you think? Leave your opinion in the comments section. Once again, jab that like button, uppercut that subscribe button, lead hook that share button, and drop the comment in the comments section. And throw a combination at the notification bell so you can stay updated when we drop new content. And remember, this is the parry. When we don't pull or duck no punches, and the parry is fundamental to boxing, this is Bomani UFG hitting y'all with another quick jab off the parry. Peace. Actually, now we're going to show you how to catch the jab. Um, actually, in boxing, it's called parrying. 